Uh, Ken Hill, Ken Hill Coaching and Rick Ridiculous Racing and we're here at Thunder Hill today. And the reason we're here at Thunder Hill is we're doing some training, but we're taking a little bit of a time out um, to produce a video for eye training. Uh, one of the things that I've had requested on the podcast um, time and time again is to have something uh, for eye training. And I've mentioned that, hey, I've got an eye drill. Uh, great. Well, podcast really can't get the eye drill across. So here we are, we're gonna put a, uh, together a little bit of a video for everyone so I can explain to you what uh, my eye drill is. It's something that's fairly uh, easy, but let me kind of go step back a little bit and explain why we wanna be doing this. And in our sport, um, we, as we go through our fundamentals, our first fundamental that I take a look at is our bike placement, but the second fundamental we look at is our vision and our vision skills, how we use our eyes. And we're finding that having proper vision skills, being able to look at your reference points are, are, are a huge things. So great, wonderful. Um, how do we train our eyes to look at these reference points? How long do we look at them? How do we learn to compartmentalize them? How does our focus work into it? How do we match up our motor control, all these different things with, uh, with our vision? So this drill is, is, um, is, is very, very simple. Um, it's something that you can liter literally do 30 seconds in the morning, 30 seconds in the evening to help enhance and, and train your eyes. And that's something that I think um, people uh, underestimate is our vision skills are completely trainable. You may not have the best vision skills to start with, uh, but it's something that can be trained and your vision can, your vision can absolutely improve, or your vision skills can improve. The first step with this is get your vision checked. It is as simple as that sounds. When's the last time you had your eyes checked? So start with getting your vision checked and at least make sure that you don't have a compromised uh, situation. So make sure uh, you go to an eye doctor, have them look at your eyes, tell them what you're doing, right? So tell them that you're in a sport, a sport that has that requires something that has pretty high eye speed and you know at least get him to uh, to understand that and let's get your vision checked so let's let's just start right there uh, with everyone so <clears throat> when we look at our eyes and we look at our eyes um, for motorcycles or in some of the other motorsports things as well uh, we want to be able to develop how our eyes move and so I'm going to go through uh, this drill it's kind of a three-step drill we will make it fairly easy for you and the, the, first step, the first step is is acknowledging internally in your head that your eyes have to move. And so here's how, here's how, the, eye drill, here's how the eye drill works. So we're, we're simply gonna take a pen, and you can do this literally on a little, little sheet of paper. You can draw it on a piece of paper. Um, you can, um, we're gonna use a whiteboard here for you, but it's as simple as you can just take your little piece of paper and you're going to essentially draw, how about you just draw five circles, right? Just draw five circles somewhere on the piece of paper. That's all you're gonna do. And within that piece of paper, um, you can number them. Let's go one, two, three, four, five. So <clears throat> you have your piece of paper, put five circles on there, put some numbers inside the circles, and the first step is, let's, let's just take our one and a two, right? So you're, you're gonna take your eyes, and you're gonna look at one, and you're gonna look at two, you're gonna look at two, and then you're going to look at one. And as you're doing that, going from one to two, internally, tell yourself, I have to move my eyes. Because you may have moved your eyes, doing different things, everything that you're doing throughout your day, you're moving your eyes, but we need to make that internal connection in your brain. You actually need to make that electrical connection in your brain that says, I have to move your eyes. In real time, when you're going 150 feet a second at times, it's very difficult to do this. So we need to be able to tell our brain inside, I have to move my eyes. I wanna be able to move my eyes from reference point to reference point. And trust me, when the rider falls down in front of you and you're fixated on him and you say, I have to move my eyes, yeah, that, that's how we have to do it. But we have to tell ourselves to do that. So the first step with this is telling yourself, I have to move my eyes. So go from one to two, two to one, and just do this and say, I have to move my eyes, right? Get your eyes to actually move and you be in control of your eye movement. 
So again, it's a proactive movement, not a reactive movement. So that's step one. Step two. Step two gets a little bit more involved. Uh, and this works very much in conjunction with what's going to happen out on track. Uh, and it works in conjunction with the reference, re with reference points as well. So this one is, we want to be able to look at each one of these dots long enough for the number to come into focus. Because if you're out on track and if you're only looking at things in your periphery, you never have intri intricate focus on the specific reference point. If you don't have intricate focus, then you can't react to it. You can't look at your apex and go, uh, well, I, am I wide of it? Am I going to run up the inside of it? What's happening here? So in this case, we need to look at it long enough to be able for it to come into focus so you can go, oh yeah, I am going to be wide. I can use more brake pressure or I'm going to, I'm going to be shallow or whatever, whatever it may be. So looking at the reference point long enough for it to come into focus. So the way this works is look at one, look at one and let the one come into your focus. So look at one, great, I got it. Go to two, let two come into focus. I've got it. Five, let five come into focus. Go to four, I got four, right? And you can run these in any order you want. It doesn't matter. As long as when you're moving your eyes, you let that number come into focus. So the second step of this is being able to look at those dots, and be able to look at them long enough, right, for the number to come into focus so you can see them, so you can react to them. And it's exactly what we're going to do out on track. You need to look at your turn and reference long enough to make sure you have it, to make sure it's coming, coming into your vision. You need to look at your apex long enough to make sure it comes into your vision. <clears throat> so that's step two. So step three is the actual drill itself. And step three is we want to be able to take our piece of paper, take whatever you're, you're writing up here, and you're going to do this. And you look at the one, you look at the two, two, one, and you can do this in random order. Start doing this, just, just do it for 10 seconds, right? Just nothing else in your mind, but looking at these reference points and looking at them five, four, three, two, right? Looking at them that way and let them come into your focus. Try it for 10 seconds, try it for 15 seconds, and try to work your way up for 30 seconds without having another thought come into your head. That's really the hard part is because it's very easy to get unfocused during this drill. The cool thing is, is you'll find that when you do this drill, if your vision is engaged, your focus is engaged. That's really the key. If you're looking at one and you go to four and then you're thinking about um, what kind of coffee you're going to have in an hour, right? Then, right, we don't, we need to have a more of a focus on that. So this drill, helps you stay focused. It's, it's just as much as an eye drill, because remember what I said, if your eyes are engaged, your focus is engaged. If your focus is engaged, then your technique is engaged. So <clears throat> step one, right? We've got to tell our eyes to move. Step two, we have to look at each one of these numbers long enough for them to come engaged, to, to be engaged with you, right? Be, to be in your focus. And then the last step, step three, is you can start running some time on these and some drills. So one, two, two to one, one to three, or one to five, five to four, four to five, three, four, five, two, one, right? And just keep working that back and forth. And it's as simple as doing something like this for, again, 30 seconds in the morning, 30 seconds in the evening. And you'll be very surprised at when you do this, suddenly, once you get it right, you're not thinking about anything else. You're only thinking about your specific reference points. And that's exactly what we want to be able to have on track. We want to be able to only be focused on our brake application marker. We want to be only focused on our turn in reference. Because if we're only focused on that particular reference, we're able to give 100% of our attention to it, which means we can give 100% of our technique to it. So if you're going into a corner and suddenly you're, you're looking for, you're, you're not engaged to your turn in reference and you're thinking about the exit, you're not going to do a good job of your turn in or you're not gonna do a good job of where your break release point is. So we wanna be able to have that intricate focus and we wanna be able to have that training for, focus for it. So the eye drill is training your eyes to move. It's training them to look at a specific reference point for a specific amount of time. And then it's training them to have the endurances as well so we can have that endurance out on track. So 
that's pretty much it, right? So again, let's go over it one more time, which is you can just take a simple sheet of paper, you could draw five dots on it. Don't, don't make it complicated. Don't draw 17 dots, just draw five. That's all, that's all you need. Make it very, very simple. And again, look at, you can look at it, look at the one, look at the two, tell your eyes they have to move, two to one, one to three, three to five, five to four, four to one. And again, spend the time to let that number come into your focus. Then after that, then you can start running time on it. Try it with 10 seconds, try it with 20 seconds, try it with 30 seconds. You wanna get it up to a minute, that's fantastic. Um, I've had some athletes actually take a piece of paper like this and they've brought it out to them literally right before they're gonna ride their motorcycle. And before they get put their helmet on, they'll do their eye drill and then realize their brain is the right there, that super, super sharp focus, put their helmet on and be ready to ride. Because they, they want to be able to get the rid of the stuff in the rest of their brain and just be focused at their task at hand and be focused on their reference point. So there is your eye drill, super easy to do. Something that again, you can do in the morning, something that you can do um, at the, in, in the evening. Um, it's also something that you can do when you're fatigued uh, because one of the things that makes it very hard is as we get, get fatigued, physical fitness goes down, is trying some of these when you're under a little bit more stress as well. So there you go, eye drill.